<laughs> Hello again guys, this is Dodon back from a brief hiatus due to illness. I had a bit of a cold, a bit of a sniffle, and I've still got a bit of a sniffle, but anyway, a bit of a sniffle. Ah, this is Dodon once again with episode 13 of my playthrough of Jigabov's Adventure Multiplex, and I'm gonna cut until I get to the start of the next segment. See you soon. And so, once again, here I am, and I'm up to... That one! B1! Hard difficulty! Oh god, hard difficulty? Really? Puzzle focus this is, apparently! Um, alright. Let's go and do a hard difficulty puzzle focus. And, luckily it is becoming night time, which means hopefully I'll be able to save my, uh... <laughs> Location once I get to the location to which I am headed, which is apparently over this way somewhere Apparently so a puzzle focus this Hopefully the hardness of the puzzles is a reasonable hardness 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 <laughs> and not a total bullshit hardness like um I've had a couple times in the past, but B1, welcome to Puzzle Focus! Okay, and it's over here I have to go. And whoa, 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 nearly fell out. Oh dear, oh dear. Welcome! Your goal is to break the secret code in order to complete the level. Enter the code by putting sand in the holes. You are allowed to break the sand, nothing else. Answers will be found in the level. The sand will be found in chests. Find one of those before you jump down. So, I'm allowed to break only sand, and I'm supposed to put sand in holes. Right, so I've got seven blocks of sand, and that... What? Is that one of the puzzles, really? What's down here? I want to see what's down here. Come on. Copy down, what's down here? Uh, one. What? 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 I'm not sure. I'm gonna go back up and do the up one, because that sounds more fun, and that sounds like something that's a bit different, and was possibly supposed to remain obscure. Two, how many fingers do you have on one hand? I have four fingers and a thumb, I suppose that's what they're asking. What's this say? Uh, there's nothing on that sign. Right, so I'm supposed to be aiming for four. This one's created by Techno Doggy, by the way, apparently. Right, so uh, four might be a clue to something, maybe? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So one, two, three. Um, um, actually, I better check to make sure I'm on a difficulty setting. I'm not. There we go. So I have 15 sand blocks. Right. Well, I can't put that one in there, but I can do that. And that does jack all. Um, oh, it pushes up. I see, I see. So what happens when it pushes up? Does it go anywhere? I don't know. I'll do a few up and we'll see what it looks like upstairs. Hang on, what's this say down here? It says, 3. What is the square root of 36? I neither know nor care because I'm not a mathematically minded person. <laughs> um... Okay, so, um, that goes up apparently somewhere, where to is it headed? Um, ooh, I see, so one more block on the end and it'll push that uh, circuit there next to my pointer, it'll light that piece of redstone there. Let's see if that does anything, so one more block in the back one, we'll do that. Uh, Hopefully, that is useful. Alright, let's have a look. So, one more. That did something, maybe? I don't know. 
Is that a... That's a testificate down there. Haha, <laughs> what are you doing down there? You silly bugger. Right, so that's... All the sand. I can't help but think that's not what I was supposed to do. Um, let, let's have a look. Let's see. Um... Right, so yes, it did light up that thing over there. And no, I have no idea if that is correct. Wherefore does the exit appear if that is correct? Uh, right. Did it just open the door down here? No, it certainly didn't do that. Good God, no. Let's see if we can find where the exit is to this chamber. It is over here, apparently. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure that I get it, but okay. Um, I think what I'm sup- Ooh, hang on a sec, that, that could be interesting. Let's see if we can do that again. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if that, uh, oh. There's a wall there that stops me from going anywhere. Bugger, I thought I was going to be able to cheat, but no, I couldn't cheat. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Answers will be found in the level. Okay, so I think what's supposed to happen is that I'm supposed to... This is thing number one. Bugger. Oh, that was not good. This is thing imaging number one. And I'm just going to put uh, that there so I don't forget. Although, you know, one, two, three, you, you shouldn't think that I'd forget that, but. I'm a bit stupid sometimes! Okay, so we're breaking, 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 breaking the sand. Break the sand, break the sand. I break the sand. We put number two there. And I break the sun, 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 Okay, I'll stop that. A probable, uh, is that a problem? I can't get that block. That may be a problem. I hope it's not going to be a problem, but it just may be a problem. There we go, now I can get the block. Very good. Alright, so, this is number three before I forget. Okay, so, three is what's the square root of uh, that, and this was number two up here, wasn't it? I think this was number two. I do think so, that this was number two, so yeah, number two becomes four. Unless they're going to count the thumb as the finger, which some people do, some people don't. But two is four, so let's see, there's one, two, three, four. So that's four. And then I'm going to have to um, work out how many equal parts there are remaining at the end of it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But, I wonder... Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Because there's a ladder there. I can't just drop the stuff down. Bugger! I was going to use my, you know, make it like an elevator. That would be clever, wouldn't it? Yeah. Actually, it just, it doesn't say that I have to place it in the hole. It says that it can be placed in the hole. So I wonder if that means I can do this. What do you reckon? Ooh. Hey, I got a cake, but I couldn't, I couldn't get out. What? What the fuck is with that? What is with that? Hey, what? Whatever, that's my inventive way of winning the game. Thank you! <laughs> okay, now we do this because we like to do this in between um, levels and then we go down to here. Jumpy, jumpy, jump, jumpy, jump. And this one is created by Siobhan Kelden, apparently. And Siobhan Kilden has a door which opens at the push of a button, and I somehow cannot manage to navigate. Ha! I got in! I passed the challenge! And... Right, 
right, so this is one of those ones where you push that and then you can walk over all these ones. But I'm going to have to push the blue one, aren't I? Uh, I can't reach it from in there though. So it can't be the blue one. I've got to push the red one. That way I can come down here, but I can't go there. Ah, so I've got to push the green one as well. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now we're thinking with portals. Or not, as the case may be. As the case may be. Now I need to push the yellow one too. I need to push the yellow one. Why did I not see that I would need to push the yellow one? Because I was not looking. Why else? Because I was not looking. Okay, so now... Um, Zs, I need to push the green one again. Hmm... I think me that I do need to push the green one again, but how does that work? Because I'm gonna be trapped if I do. Hmm... Because if I have it like that, then I cannot get past that. I can get around here though, if I push the red one. But then I cannot get in. If I push the blue one I do. But then I cannot get past here. If I push the yellow one. Then I can get past here. Is it yellow one not moving when it's supposed to? I think it might be, because if I push that down, the yellow one... Oh no, they do move, it does move back up again. Okay, never mind, never mind, I was wrong. Oh my god, he admitted it! Anyway. Um... Hmm... Am I supposed to be able to, remo to reach that blue one from here? Because this block here is one step further. Because uh, if I am, I can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I, 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 I. Yeah, so I have to be able to push that green one, but I can't push that green one because the green one's all the way over here And as soon as I push the green one, then I can't get to that place where I need to have the green one pushed If you follow what I'm saying because of this green one right here And if I push that red one, then I can't get to here See if I push the red one, then I need to have the blue one down so that I can get through here and then I can't get through here. So I call bullshit on this and, and I'm going to do this. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, bullshit. I told you I called bullshit on this. Look at this crap. This isn't a challenge. This is just a load of bullshit. Parkour bullshit thing. Bullshit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time. Uh, six times later. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's a laptop keyboard. I swear it's my laptop keyboard. The sooner I'm working back on my desktop, uh, the better. And th that will happen just as soon as I get my graphics card. Which, incidentally, just this week, uh, the GTX 680, the DirectCU2 version by Asus, with their custom uh, heatsink, has become available at Australian e-tailers, online stores, and I don't think I can actually jump that far, can I? No, I don't think I can. Well, well, some people might, but, 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 I probably can't. <laughs> um, okay, up we go. Yes, so, that graphics card is, um, they've just now been made available, so with any luck, I'll be receiving that one in the next week or so. If um, supplies are sufficiently uh, allowable, yes, allowable, allowable will do. Hmm. So I guess I'm supposed to. I get it. I'm supposed to push that down, 
and then the water stream passes the stuff over. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So I move the yellow one. And then it will go down to that pressure pad just there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not good, not good. It has to be out a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Come on, come on, come on. And I have to do it quick enough. There we go. And now I need to be able to get to that uh, red one there, which means I have to do that, I think. Yes, it does. So now I need to go back up here, back up here. I have to do this quick enough so that the items do not despawn by the time I get there. There we go, which they move very, very, very slowly along the current, as you've no doubt taken notice. So, this could be challenging. This could be challenging indeed. Okay, so... Yeah, so I need to move the blue one like so. Aha! There we go, That that's nice and easy. So now I'll need to move the green one. Very good. See, I like this particular puzzle. This puzzle is logical and it's transparent. No pun intended. Okay, 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 okay. And blob you go. There we go. And now I have to move the red one. And then I have to move the green one for the last one. For the very last one. Uh, like a saw. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very, very good. Very, very good. Now I have to move the green one like so. And I also have to move, was that a red one behind there? I think it was a red one. Yes it was, there we go. And now, if, hopefully, hopefully this is fast enough for it to not despawn. There we go! There we go, and provided those uh, circuits down there are all linked up properly, and provided it's just a big grand gate, which is what I'm seriously hoping for, we will have made progress, and we have, and we have an open door, and please tell me this is not a maze. Where's the skill in a maze? It's just a load of bullshit walking around in circles. Seriously, a maze. It's, it's, it's evidence of poor imagination on the designer part. The rest of it was, I mean, well, the first couple of puzzles I might have had a little bit difficulty at. But the last one, I enjoyed. <laughs> Alright, uh, this way, I guess, suppose. No, 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 not that way, not that way. God, no. God, no. God, no. Aha! Aha, ha, ha! Ha, And, wow, he's, he's, this, this particular designer has fit a lot of puzzles in, has he not? Mm-hmm. So, we are aiming to get our cart to where exactly right oh, so that just sets it off on its circle does it so what's this one do right that sends it back there so we don't want that one turned so I want to go around, and if it goes there, then it'll just go down here, and it'll go straight, and then it will hmm, go around here to here, right, that's a bit weird, but okay. Oops, I don't want to go back down there again. Why would I want to go back down there again? That's a bit weird. Alright, so, I need it to go along this path here and around here which means I need it to go there if that's correct is it? Oh that's simple I just need to push that there and then get to here quick enough to turn it round 
Yes, I think that's all I need to do. Right, it went on a totally different path, did it? I think it did. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Alright, so I'll get rid of that and we'll open that up and then we'll put that right there. And then we'll go up a level. And magical! We've won. I win. I'm good. La la. Okay, I'm not good. But I uh, pretend to be. <laughs> okay, so that's another couple of challenges done. And this is apparently the save zone, as we should no doubt have acknowledged by now. And I go this way now. What? No, I don't go there. That's, that's like back to the start. That's bullshit. I don't go there. Where do I go? I go down here. I see. I see. I see. I see. Down here. And I don't go there because that's the exit room. And well, I'm getting hungry, aren't I? I'm getting rather hungry. So, munch, 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 and that's it. Okay, cool. So, we get rid of all those melons now? No, we get rid of those melons, I said. Okay. Map by Blowing Fish, YouTube account Blowing Four Fish. Two Jigabov for the encounter build competition. Thanks for playing my map and good luck. Rules! One number one. Do not blow. Break. Break, break, break. I'm not Asian. Break. Do not break anything. Two, do not place any block. Well, that's no fun. Ha 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 ha, you're locked up here. No, I'm not. I'm still outside the door. So I'm not locked up anywhere. Okay. Unless you are smart, you will die. To get out of here, you need to make purple. What? What's that do? Nothing. What's that do? No! What's that? Right. What's the purpose of this lever? I don't get it. Ah! I nearly made it too. That's like very rare for me. <laughs> Look, it doesn't open it. Right, well that was just a failure. This is not like puzzle, this is just, you know, bullshit reaction time. I can usually do some puzzles, but I have no reaction um, capabilities to speak of. Up we go, up we go, up we go, Uncle me. Okay, run, 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 run. I say run, and yet he doesn't run. Steve, you're not listening to me. Okay, oh my God, up we go there. There we go. Okay, that was I was just too far away. I was just too far away from the edge when I started there. Aha. You know what? I think this just takes me back to the start, doesn't it? I think it might do. It says we need to make purple. What colours make purple again? Is it like blue and red or something? I can't bloody remember. I think that's what it's um really aiming for. Um, hang on, let me just check Wikipedia because I don't remember what colours make blue and Sorry, what colours make purple? Be right back! Okay, and indeed, it is blue and red, so I've got the blue one pressed and now I'm going to have to make another entire bloody circuit of this thing. Because I don't think I pulled down the red one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, and I have to make sure that's up because we don't want that turned on. <laughs> Okay. No, no, that's up, 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 up. Get it up! Okay, that, that dick came out wrong. <laughs> okay, so... 
Ah, why do I keep on jumping halfway through? It only stuffs up my sprint. There we go. And there. Yeah, that opened something somewhere, and I've got no idea where. Um, not in here. Right. Yeah, so I am going to have to run the gauntlet again. Yeah. Ah! No! How can this be? You're too smart. Go away. What? Really? Is that all? Alright. Congratulations! You have finished this short map. You have finished this short map. I have finished this short map. Very good. I like the sound of finish this short map. That's fun. Up we go. Up we go. And... Am I supposed to go up here? I suppose so. I suppose so. Why not? Um, down here we go next, I suppose. But, you know what? I think this is a perfect opportunity to finish the episode and to continue on this little stretch of puzzle-oriented encounters in episode 14. So, if you would like to see more, I'm afraid you'll have to catch me then. See you later.